You know that ship that you sink and then they keep coming back over and over and over? Well, today we're gonna talk about how to deal with those guys and how to play defense out of fort. I'm Narfield and I like to help players get better at Sea of Thieves. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Let's get into it. All right, so we spawned into this server and we noticed a Fort of the Damned. And on our way to that Fort of the Damned, we saw a Reaper 5 Brig. Now this Reaper 5 Brig is at a Tall Tale Island, but because they have a Reaper flag up, I don't care. Tall tails or no, you have a reaper flag up, you're fair game. So what I assume is going on is these guys are parked right here and maybe took a rowboat or swam to the fort to try to get a steal. All right, so the plan here is gonna be pretty standard plan. Um, they're not moving, so we're gonna try to slow down, hit them with some chain shots, punch some holes in the ship, and try to get a quick sink and an easy reaper flag. So we slow down, we get a squared up angle, and uh, let loose. No doubt if somebody's here, they're going to be trying to run with the ship pretty soon. All right, there they go. Somebody dropped sails. So we're going to send right over to drop the anchor. He moves a little bit too fast through the water. He misses the ladder. So as a backup, I'm going to sword lunge off the back of the ship so I can catch their ladder. I'm going to tell V, who's still on the ship, to uh, swing the ship left. So that way, when I do drop the anchor, we'll be in a prime position to hit him with cannonballs. got their anchor down and you can see now that they're in our broadside so what i'm going to do here is try to keep them distracted so my crewmates can get some holes in the ship and so red can get back to our boat so i heal up and then i make some noise on the ladder so hopefully they will either guard the ladder or like they did eventually give up and uh go back down and try to repair their ship so one of the best times to get somebody uh, in a situation like this is when they're trying to bucket or trying to repair because they'll likely be in a state where they're panicking. They won't know what to do if you're on their ship. All right, now we're gonna watch for back spawns and when the ship sinks, pick up their flag. So after we sank the brig, we noticed that the sloop ran to Reaper's hideout with the Athena chest and the Reaper's chest from the Fort of the Damned. In the meantime, we went back and collected the rest of the loot, put our Reaper's flag up, and then headed off to do this regular fort. So quick tip for when you're pulling into a fort, you're most likely gonna get hit with cannonballs. Don't sweat it. Don't stress out about taking a couple holes. What you want to do is pull in pretty quickly. And when you pull in, try to park in between the two closest towers, which are usually located on the back side of the fort. This will keep the towers on the fort from being able to hit your ship. And this spot is not only going to be good to help keep you away from uh, the cannons on the island, but when other ships pull in, the cannons from the island will shoot at them and still not be able to hit you. So it'll be kind of like a defensive alarm from the island. All right, that brigand team we got in a fight with earlier is already headed back to us, probably a little bit upset. And like we talked about in one of my previous videos, we're gonna use the ship like a rotating turret. So we're gonna sit still, let the island towers do some of the work and then shoot the brigand team from our ship and rotate with them as they move by us. Now they're headed straight in, so we want to slow them down as much as possible to minimize the amount of damage that we take to our ship when they hit us. So I'm going to rotate the ship and try to keep them in our broadside and at the same time play defense from borders. So I know V's got the right side, Red's on the left side, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, re-rotate the ship so that way we have angle on the other brigantine. So right now we have one player dead and there's a mermaid so we have another player swimming up so that means there's one player still on their ship. I don't see any other players so I'm going to rotate the boat to uh, to get the last couple of cannon shots that we need to sink them. There, uh, the other brigantine stopped moving so confirm sink. Now all we have to do is clean up the rest of the players and we can continue with our fort. He's going to he's gonna throw firebombs from the tower so we're close enough we can just throw firebombs right back. We got another player boarding. So both of their players probably got a back spawn, so we're probably still dealing with three players. Right there, I'm low on food and I'm low on health, so I prioritize downing the other player before I get food, which doesn't always work out, but this time worked out in my favor. Now this is the biggest part of season two that you have to look out for, the new barrel hide emote. They're sneaky. Be careful. So we got a couple down and uh, there's still a mermaid here. So I'm going to take the mermaid back to my ship. And if it doesn't disappear, that means there's still a player. 
and it doesn't disappear, that means that there's still a player on the island somewhere. He could be on our ship, he could be in a tower, he could be on the island, we can't be sure. And there he is. I could hear him fast swimming underneath the tower. Be careful when you're coming up to other ships like that. If you don't fast swim, it's a little bit quieter. All right, now we cleaned up all the other players and we're going to continue on with our fort. All right, that other ship is pulling in and unfortunately I'm AFK, but my crewmates are watching the horizon. So they've already, uh, they're already set up to play defense. I get back and have no idea what's going on. Let's be honest. I'm shooting at shooting at skeletons on the island and this is when i realized that the other ship is there you don't don't want to walk into this situation <laughs> so same thing as last time um they're cruising by so i'm going to try to get an angle maybe we can drop their sails punch a couple holes in their ship at the speed they're going by they're most likely dropping people off um they dropped people off last time when they ran straight into us so this time the worry is that the island is repopulated, which means that there's kegs back on the fort. So in a situation like this, we didn't stop their ship immediately. We know that they're sending players. A good move right here is going to be to go ahead and get sails down and start moving as soon as possible. Red confirms that they're on the island, so we're going to go ahead and drop sails and start moving. All right, so at this point, we're not running from the fight, but we're putting ourselves in a defensive position to where we can't get kegged as well as putting ourselves in an offensive position because we fought the ship a couple times and we definitely have them on open ocean combat. All we have to do is get them in our broadside, drop their sails down, and then we're gonna set a slow rotation around them. Got chain shots going out. I'm gonna go ahead and start raising back sail in anticipation of setting an angle around the other ship. All right, both their sails are down and most likely their wheel is turned somehow so yep there it goes they're just gonna sit there and spin i like to call this a dead spin because they're full of holes they're freaking out they're trying to repair they're trying to bucket both of their sails are down and they're spinning so what you want to do in this situation is maintain that angle to where they're not going to be able to hit you with the cannons but you'll be able to hit them with the cannon over and over and over and over so when you're in this situation and you have a bunch of holes in their ship there's two really good ways to keep them from repairing. One is blunder bombs. That's going to jostle the whole ship and um, knock the player off from being able to do the repair. Second is sending a player over to physically stop the other players from doing repairs. So we knocked them off repairs with some blunder bombs and now we're going to send red over. And he calls it they're bucketing like crazy. They're repairing, they're repairing. So we're going to go ahead and drop some more cannons on them. I missed my ballast ball unfortunately so red's down he calls it they're about to sink so i'm going to go over and prevent repairs so in this situation when i get on deck i'm not going to need to worry about the anchor i just need to worry about stopping players from bucketing and repairing hit one <laughs> hit one in the foot with the sword lunge <laughs> sorry bud and a sword duel for the second one one player back and I'm not as worried about fighting him because now he doesn't have a spawn point. So after beating them multiple times at ship combat and hand-to-hand -hand combat, we decide we're gonna go finish up our fort because the likelihood of them leaving us alone is pretty high. And if they do come back, we know we can just use the same tactics to sink them again and again and again. Save me, save me, save me. So right here, V gets off the harpoon <laughs> and tries to shoot the shark instead of just harpooning me. 